I'd like to first do is introduce, or I'd like to give a round of applause to all the new moms in the gym. Let's give them a round of applause. Without further ado, I want to introduce the president of Crestby Carmelite High School. It's an honor and it's a pleasure to introduce Father Tom Batson. So I do want to say a few words. Father Tom was at Crestby, then he, then he went to Loyola Marymount University for 30 years. And I can tell he's been there for 30 years. He's been in an amazing bright spot for the school in the short amount of time he's been here. He's been here for about eight months, I would say. And he's truly taking Crespi up a couple notches professionally. He's challenging the leadership of Crespi. And, and it's being, from that it's, it's going down through the leaders to the teachers and to the other departments within the school. And it's making a big difference and I'm very excited to introduce our new president, Father Tom Batsis. And if you're a new mom here at Crespi, we want you to be involved. I was just talking to one of the moms and I said, you know, after, at, when your boy graduates, if you have been involved here, you're going to be saying, oh, do we have to leave too? And the answer is no, you can stay involved. But if you get involved here to the degree that you're able to, you're going to have a wonderful experience as is your boy. We ask you that as we are gathered here, we may enjoy friendships, we may enjoy each other, we may also enjoy the food that we are about to eat. That we who eat this, the bread of life, may also be aware of those who have prepared it, and we give blessing to them as well. We make this prayer through Jesus, your Son, and our brother. Amen. Amen. Certainly this is the first time that I've gotten to speak to, to this group in this new role as the principal. I've spoken the past couple of years, or actually every year here, um, at this mother's function. So this is the first time I get to talk to you guys uh, in this new capacity. I get to tell you that I'm very excited and enthused um, about being in this new role, new role and about trying to take uh, Crespi in, into that next level as, as Brad's and everybody else has kind of mentioned. It's an understanding that we develop boys. Okay? We understand how boys learn. We understand that, uh, yes, we want them to be successful in the classroom, but we also want to make sure that at the end of the day, they leave these halls and these walls with a very strong moral compass and a good, strong sense of, uh, of self. surprises like most of you. On days like this, there's always a surprise. Seeing someone you didn't know who had sun here, or just good food and great shopping. This sort of thing happened to me at Crespi over the years. I've set out to sell football tickets, work the snack shack, support a fundraiser, and I always walk away with something else. A friendship, another carpool connection, or some inside info on what the boys are really talking about outside the white gate. I call this the Crespi Experience. We all can get it. It's free with purchase. Four years ago, when Hayden Day started, he chose Crespi because he wanted to play the taiko drums. He started attending various events, and I started volunteering, sometimes, to just avoid the five trips to Crespi in one day. Hayden met new friends, and I met new families, and I actually built lifelong friendships. In the beginning, the only thing I thought we had in common was our boys went to a great college prep school. But as we started sharing stories with laughter about how the boys always lose the mass tie and can never turn in their homework until junior year, I realized our relationships were much more authentic. In 2009, I met Debbie McGahey. At a caper gift gathering while everyone enjoyed wine tasting with Father Paul. Then I went to my first day of volunteering at a football game my first Taiko concert, my first season of lacrosse, and my first tea, like today, and met the circle of friends that have since become our extended family. The boys have renamed one of my groups, The Motherload. 
but that is a different story. There we go. Thank you, Benini. Thank you, Jasmine. Thank you very much to volunteers and I implore you to get involved to this wherever you can. All right, good night.